back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see how I achieved this look, keep watching. But just to let you know, this is more of a kind of get to know me chit chat. So I will list all the products down below that I'm going to use for this video. Enjoy! The CoverGirl Oily Skin Face Primer. To those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Chantel, born in Toronto. Toronto, Ontario. I don't live in Toronto now, so. <laughs> One of my favorite food to eat is definitely chicken wings. I love chicken wings. I could eat chicken wings all day, but every time when I go out, I always get like honey garlic chicken wings, and then I'll get like the hottest sauce that they have in their restaurant on the side. <laughs> so something that is on my bucket list that I like have to do. I would love to go skydiving, like out of an airplane. I don't know, that's like something that I've always wanted to do. I think that would be so much fun and it would just be like one of the craziest things I think I would have like ever done. Like, I don't know, I don't know, would anybody else try that? Does anybody else like wanna go skydiving out of an airplane in like the middle of nowhere? <laughs> I don't know if my stomach though, my stomach might not be able to handle it because like even when I go to Wonderland, like an amusement park, I literally, my stomach just drops when I'm on the roller coaster and like we fall, my stomach literally feels like it's coming out of my mouth. So, oh my gosh, if I'm in an airplane, that's gonna be like intensified. No, I probably would do it. <laughs> now I'm just going to take my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder Foundation. What are small things that make my day better? I think just like minding myself to like just live like in the moment and not worry about like something that happened yesterday or like oh my gosh what's gonna happen tomorrow like just like kind of like center myself and realize that this happened life happens and just enjoy the moment and don't dwell like on the past kind of thing so that kind of like makes my day better if I'm feeling like kind of wonky or sad what's my favorite genre of movie I'm definitely a big time lover of horror movies oh my god i literally i'm obsessed like i love horror movies i've always loved horror movies even when i was younger i'd watch them but like i knew that it would scare me so much like i used to watch like what like the ring the grudge texas chainsaw massacre and i remember being so scared to go to bed i just loved it i just loved scary movies i just think they're so like thrilling thing about them i'm like obsessed which celebrity inspires you okay definitely beyonce i literally love beyonce so much i just feel like she is such a good example like for young women and just women and just people in general like everyone just she lives her life like so private and i kind of like that like it's almost like not everyone kind of needs to see like every aspect of your life, like how other celebrities kind of are. She just works really hard. Like she's definitely talented. She can dance. Like she's an amazing performer and singer. Like her videos are very creative. She's just amazing. Like back in the day, Destiny's Child 2. Love this brush. How cute is it? So obsessed. All right. I know this looks a little crazy, doesn't it? What is something that I will never do again? Over the summer, last summer, I went to the exhibition, the c and &E, which is like a yearly amusement park kind of festival, like a fair with events and food and all that. There's a huge food auditorium there. And I don't know, I was like feeling so adventurous. I'm like, oh, like I wanna try something new. Like I wanna try something exciting because the exhibition is like honestly known for having like really exotic foods and just like really like weird things like just crazy stuff so i was like oh i think i'm gonna try these frog legs frog legs like they were deep fried in like a batter and they came with like a sauce on the side and they were just not good at all i don't know they tasted so fishy like fishier than fish it was like the worst taste for me i don't know maybe i got a bad batch maybe they just weren't prepared for properly maybe i just should have not got frog legs from like an amusement park festival yeah that probably sounds right now that i say it out loud 
So that's definitely something that I will never do again. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this uh, W7 Banana Dreams Loose Powder. Damn. This is gonna get all over me. I'm calling it right now. This looks really messy, but whatever. All right, so I'm baking my face. So basically I'm gonna keep this powder on. What is my favorite color? Well, that one's really easy, pink or black. I don't know, pink definitely, I would say. Am I afraid of the dark? Um, Definitely depending on where I am. Like if I'm at my own house, and it's dark I'll be fine but like if I'm in an environment or area that I don't know well or like know the people well or just know the house well and it's very dark well of course I'm gonna be a little bit skeptical but I'm not like afraid of the dark you know what's my favorite snack to eat when I'm hungry I am obsessed with the skinny pop I love Skinny Pop. I don't know what they did to that popcorn. Like literally they didn't do much because apparently it's just like what sunflower oil or something and salt or something like that. Like it's crazy but I, I love Skinny Pop. Like my least favorite part of doing my makeup. I think my least favorite part about doing my makeup is applying my mascara because I like to do a lot of coats and that can just take forever. What are three things that I always keep with me in my purse? Definitely chapstick. It's the worst for me like when I'm out and I don't have like any kind of chapstick, money, like my wallet and all that stuff. And the last thing, my phone. Does that count? I don't know. I feel like everyone would have their phone with them. Oh, I'm obsessed with this brush. What's my favorite flavor of ice cream? I'm definitely a a boring vanilla ice cream lover but I am down to try different flavors like I actually just bought this Haagen-Dazs matcha green tea flavored ice cream and I was like wow this is actually so good because I'm obsessed with matcha and green tea so it was like literally perfect so on my eyebrows I'm using NYX HD studio uh, concealer Definitely going with the thick brows today, but it's cool. <laughs> what was my first job? So the first job when I was probably in grade 10. Yeah, I was in grade 10 and I worked, I got a job at McDonald's. Oh my gosh, I was the happiest girl ever. I was looking for a job so hard. There was like a whole like strip of like stores and restaurants and everything like that and I walked that strip for like one whole day handing out my resumes walking up and walking down like talking to managers dropping it off like praying and praying to get a job I don't know I just like was like oh, I want a job like I want to work whatever and I had applied to some places online as well and McDonald's was one of them and it was so funny because I didn't get any calls like any calls back I had like no experience only volunteering but the place that did call me back was like the McDonald's that I had applied for online so I was like oh I spent the whole day walking up and down that that strip just to get a call back from the place that I had applied online great all right so I'm gonna use my two Morphe palettes here this is the dare to create the 39a this was released around Christmas time so this is it here, gorgeous. This is the Morphe 25A Spiced Copper Palette. Again, very gorgeous, love it. I'm gonna be primarily using the shimmers in this palette. What was the first concert that you've ever been to? Ah, interestingly enough. So I didn't go to my first concert until maybe two years ago. Two years ago was my first concert and I don't know, I just don't know why I've never been before because I was definitely missing out. Uh, Drake's OVO Fest like event. It was like the two day event. So it was so sick. It was the year Drake uh, dissed Meek Mill with Charged Up and Back to Back. I think that was 2016 if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, it was the most lit concert ever. So 
never been to a concert. I go on the first day and it's like uh, Big Sean, J. Cole, all these like artists. <laughs> goodness like I can't believe it it was just so packed there was so many people it was just so live the second day was like even better and it was so much fun because like we got a hotel and like you know we stayed downtown so that was like a lot of fun the second day was live like it was like Drake Kanye future party next door who else was there? Travis Scott was there. But I will say I was so surprised by Kanye West. Like he was so live, like he was so energetic. Literally, he had this like stage and it was like all lit up with lights and it was like tilting like this. And Day. like every time I think about my first concert I can't help but smile because it was like the best first concert to go to done I like went to this like back backstage area that was like outside in the parking lot and like I was like oh maybe if I stand here like I could see like Drake or someone leave and it was so funny so like I'm here and then there's a gate here so funny Travis Scott was there and then he like ran into his car and then all these people were like oh my god Travis Scott Travis Scott Travis Scott and then he ended up giving someone his chain. He took his chain off and gave it to a fan. And that fan ran so fast because obviously people are like, oh my God, how much money is that chain worth and all that stuff. So he just dipped because he probably like, who knows what would have happened to him. And then Travis Scott got into his car and left. That was the craziest thing. And this all happened in front of me. And I was just like too shook to even, like it all happened so fast I couldn't even take out my phone, you know? So that happened and then also so Travis Scott leaves and then like I'm there at the gate again thinking oh my gosh who am I gonna see next like oh my gosh am I gonna see Drake maybe I'll get a picture maybe I'll get an autograph like I don't know I'm thinking the most right and I see this like black guy and he's like standing right there and he has on all these chains and he's so icy and like is that a celebrity so I'm looking so it's like me and there's like a couple of other people probably like 10 or 15 other people and then I look at this guy and I'm like, Fab? I'm like, is that fabulous? I was like, is that fabulous? And he turns around, literally turns around, looks at me and goes, and then everyone's like, oh my God, Fab. And then everyone starts screaming, fabulous, oh, we love you, man. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And then he was there and I got a picture of him. So I'll probably like try to find it and insert it here. Yeah. That was so much fun. So I'm done blending out my eyes right now. What is one of my proudest accomplishments? I would say I'm about to graduate university, so I am super proud about that because I didn't even think I was gonna go to university. I, I went to college. I would say going to university is like definitely one of the hardest things I've done like throughout my life. Throughout my whole life, this has been really challenging for me. What are two of my pet peeves? First pet peeve is I literally hate when I'm driving on the highway and people do not indicate. 
Like, what is up with that? Seriously, indicate. Like, especially, like, if two people are driving and they both don't indicate and they're both trying to come over onto the same lane, it's like, oh, that makes me cringe so hard. Another one of my pet peeves. People talk with food in their mouth. Annoying to me. I think when people talk with their food in their mouth, I'm like, oh my God, cringe, cringe. Where's my favorite place that I've ever traveled to? I would have to say probably Jamaica. It's, it's like beautiful, it's hot. I don't know, the food, the culture, everything. Definitely one of my favorite places to travel to. Um, but I also really did like, like New York City. I love New York. Like. It's just so busy and crazy and like if you want to be in that chaos like it's like the perfect place to go i love new york because of the shopping and the prices what's my favorite fast food chain i would say like a and w or maybe wendy's i'm not really sure how many siblings do i have i have three older brothers and that's it <laughs> just three older brothers no sister no sister for me but that's cool i mean my brothers are cool so I'm the baby of the family. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Fiji Loose Highlight. I really do like this highlight. It's so pigmented. I'm going to apply my winged liner off camera and then I'm going to put on my falsies and I will be right back. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off this bake under my eyes and I'm going to apply some mascara. Do I prefer dogs or cats? Never had a dog. I've had cats before and they're pretty chill. Like they're really low maintenance. You just gotta clean the litter box and give them food. They're pretty independent. So I do like that. What is my, what is your dream car? For a long time, I was so obsessed with, um, the BMW Z4 all white hardtop convertible. Now I'm so into the G Wagon, like, I want that car. I'll have it one day though. That's what, like, I would probably want as like my dream car because I just love the look of it and I would get it like in matte black. Hopefully, it's my next car, you know. What is my favorite dessert? Would definitely have to be vanilla cheesecake with fresh strawberries on top whipped cream i'm obsessed with cheesecake i think cheesecake is like by far my favorite dessert like out of all the desserts i could eat cheesecake anytime like i i just love cheesecake so do i still have my wisdom teeth no <laughs> i got my wisdom teeth removed some time ago, a couple years ago, and wow, what an experience. The worst experience ever. I just did not like it. I was so uncomfortable. I was in so much pain. And like those pain medication that they give you, what is it, like Tylenol 3 and Codeine? Like, it made me feel like so bad. Like, like I was in a daze or something. Like, those pills are like dangerous got all four of them taken out do you do I speak any different languages no really 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 am determined to learn Spanish because I've been wanting to learn Spanish for years now that is like one of my goals for sure is there any show that I'm currently watching and that I'm into I have been totally obsessed with Grey's Anatomy oh my gosh Honestly, I cannot deal. That show is so good. I've never watched it all these years. I've always seen people like talking about it like, oh, Grey's, oh, Grey's. But I never really watched it myself. And like, I'm upset. Like I'm literally completely obsessed with that show. I think it's such a good show. Like I've been binge watching it. I probably started, get, started watching it like two, like two months ago and I'm already in season eight and there's 14 seasons and they're like hour long episodes. So I have been watching Grey's Anatomy like crazy. I don't know, I just, I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Wiped off all of the bake off of my face. So I just added a little bit of liner at the bottom and now I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Dior blush here. Just a little bit, not too much. 
and just pink up my cheeks. I'm gonna use this Too Faced Love Light You Light Up My Life highlighter. Super pretty, you can see that I've used it so much. Do you collect anything in particular? I definitely do collect a lot of things. I do collect sh uh, sh sh <laughs> seashells. So like whenever someone goes to like a foreign place or like to a beach or something, I'll be like, can you just bring me back a seashell from the beach? So I have like a bunch of seashells from like all over, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know why. I kind of like just put them around my room and like decorate with them. It's gonna go over top with my Mariah Carey highlight, which is basically done. See, like I used all this side because I didn't want to ruin her face, but I don't want to ruin her face. So I will continue continue to use that side all right perfect now I'm just gonna finish off with my coconut fix plus okay so the last thing that I'm gonna need to do is my lips so I'm gonna go grab some lip makeup I always have to use lip balm or else like it's just a big no-no. And then this is Kylie Cosmetics in Bear. This is her velvet formula. This is so pink, but as I said, I like a little bit of a pink. Look at how pigmented Kylie Cosmetics is. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to film. I hope that you got to know a little bit more about me and please let me know down below if you enjoyed the video and maybe what was your favorite part and what kind of video you would like me to film next. Don't forget you can follow me on my Instagram account as well which is Chantelle Marie and I post makeup every single day so please follow me there if you're a makeup lover like me and we can be friends. <laughs> I mean, I need more friends who are into makeup, so why not? And don't forget, you can click the notification bell. That way you'll get a notification every time I upload so you don't miss any of my videos. <laughs> I appreciate all the support, seriously. Please don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next week for our new video. Mwah. Bye!